Hello! Hi there! How are you? I am doing great. How are you doing, Terry? Doing great. It might have helped if I put us into studio instead of just sitting there going, Oh, hi, Lindy. How are you? And you don't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, better. it's got to be something all the time. It's something. <laughs> So, hello everybody. Welcome. All of our friends are already jumping in here. So, we have Cindy and Priscilla. Hello, Carol Ann and Catherine Kelly. Oh, hey, hey, Chris Hunter. Chris Hunter's here. How hello. are you? So, welcome everybody to Decoupage Queen's Creative Hour. My name is Terry Lightsey, and I'm so excited to have my friend back, Lindy from Tater Buggin. It's always I'm so a happy great to time. Be here. Thank I'm so you, excited. Terry. We had a good talk about our book nooks um, right before we came on. So, you know, we're hooked on this whole book nook thing. So if you're not sure what we're talking about, you need to go check out Lindy's channel and watch <laughs> some you. replays because she's been doing some amazing book nooks. So before I turn it over to Lindy, just a few housekeeping things. Normally, you all are used to watching Lindy in portrait mode. If you can please turn your device to landscape today, that way your screen will be filled and it won't be a little bitty screen. Also, I try my best not to interrupt. I try. So if you see right here, hi Bev and Pamela. So this is our way of saying hello to you. So in acknowledging that we see you and try not to interrupt. And also at the end of creative hour, so when Lindy's done creating today, Decoupage Queen always gives away a full bag, goodie bag full of Decoupage Queen rice papers. So all you have to do to be entered on the, win, the wheel to win that is make sure you're following Decoupage Queen. Make sure you're following Lindy at Tater Buggin. And then if you share and like the video, we always appreciate that too. So, you know. But if you're ready, I'll turn it over to you. I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was showing Terry this before uh, we went live. I have some of these old, old ceiling tiles. They're metal. See all the paint fall off? I'm trying to be careful and keep some of that chippy paint on there. Um, my brother-in-law, y'all, some of y'all are faithful followers of my page know Jody. And he used to have a home improvement business. So he would go into these old houses and have to do um, demolition and things, you know, to gut it out. Well, these he saved these ceiling tiles for me. And I've just been waiting for the right project. Hope today's going to be it. We're going to see. I um, love the way they look, like the natural look of them. It's beautiful. And, you know, it was filthy. So when I was in there trying to, you know, just gently trying to clean it up, because you want to keep as much of that beautiful chippy look to it as you can, right? So what I want to start with is this beautiful paper from Decoupage Queen. This is called uh, Frozen Over. And it's in oh. the new, isn't this a new Christmas? Yes, it is. The new collection? Christmas. So this is going to make a beautiful backdrop for anything, any project you want is how I see it. So I'm going to um, just fill this center square with this paper. What I want to do though, I'm going to take the white, I'm just going to take this white corner You'll off. need to also pull us down a little bit, Lindy, so we can oh, see I guess your I desk. Know that, that's right. Let me, you know, I'm, I like to mess you all up by doing this, <laughs> you know, whole landscape thing. <laughs> well, it's more important for you to see this than, than this anyways. <laughs> so I just, normally I wet the edges. Um, I like that feathered edge and I may do that on the next step, but I just first, um, just to get it right here in the right circle, I want to cut oh. this white edge off. So Melinda Blackwell says, mm -hmm. I'm hooked on the book nooks, but I'm stumped on a step. I've, oh, and I wish I could 
figure out a way. I know the step you're stumped on, and boy, it stumped me too. Oh, you know, uh, you already know. <laughs> yes, she sent me a, you know, where she's at and the picture, and it's on Alice's. Uh, oh I, that's, no, that's the one we were just talking about. Yes, and that is not one I would suggest you start with. But Melinda did not know that when she Dog got it. it. So oh, gone it. Uh huh. But I've been trying to, you know, kind of help. I saved, you know, I save all my instruction books in case anybody needs any help because that way I can kind of refer back to that. Oh, that's cool. That's and neat. um. So, but. Let's see. I'm going to, I want to get, I'm going to get two projects out of this sheet. Hey, Gwen, I want to get two projects out of this sheet because, I mean, look at the paper. It's gorgeous. And uh, if I have time, I am going to show you the second project because it's, it's things that I got from Decoupage Queen as well as this paper. And you need to know about them. So. We always, we're lucky. We always get twofers with Lindy. <laughs> How, I was thinking about that. Well, when I'm going to be live, especially like with Decoupage Queen, you want to be on your A game. Aww. And I woke up this morning thinking about it. And I thought I was going to make it into two lives. And then I was working through y'all. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. I think we, all of us creators do especially when you're going to go live, you know, you're thinking, how, how am I going to execute this in the best way? I'm going to make the best use of everybody's time. Um, and so I thought, wow, that could go pretty fast, Lindy. You better <laughs> have a backup plan. So I've got a backup plan. And it, I was going to, if, if I don't get to it today, though, I will do it on my live on Tuesday because y'all need to see these beautiful things I got from Decoupage Queen. So, and Gwen Johnson says, hey, sweet thing, how's your weekend? <laughs> uh, Gwen, my sweet friend, I got to meet Gwen in person three weeks ago at a retreat, and we just had the best time. Oh, Love that's me some cool. Gwen. My weekend's going good so far. You know, I have to be a, a bachelorette on the weekends this time of year because my husband hunts. <laughs> oh, he goes hunting. That's right. I was like, wait, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh yesterday after he left and i knew i had everything set up for this and i had done my chores so y'all don't think i'm just being a you know lazy i have lives for the next four days so oh my. i gifted myself with time to sit at the dining room table pull out my big puzzle table that i use for big jigsaw puzzles and started another book nook and it's beautiful, and I can't wait. I'm, I'm videoing, so y'all aren't going to be left out. I just didn't do it live. And uh, so get ready to see another book nook. That's, so oh, it's a good weekend. Good weekend. Pop the frozen pizza in the oven and chilled out. And there you go. Yeah. Uh, Rennie, I just put in Lindy's um, Facebook page uh, for you again so you can follow it. Thank I you. I put both of them in. I put DQ, Decoupage Queens and Lindy. So that's those are the links that you guys are seeing. Perfect, perfect. Now, see, I'm thinking, here's my vision. That this sort of looks like you're going to sort of see it as a an old window type of look. Ooh, with this frosty background. Now, I want to take my um, matte medium and my old brush. I use an old yucky brush for this. Don't don't use your good brushes for your uh, matte medium. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah, everybody is Cindy, saying hello so. and tossing the taters. Yay! <laughs> Yay, thank you, thank you. And Carol Binky, yes, my, my fingers are getting the workout. She can hear me getting everybody's name on the wheel. I hear her tippy tapping, <laughs> yeah. She's, she's got the hard job. I get the fun part. She's got the hard part. <laughs> Cindy Hi, Kane Shana. says this is going to be gorgeous, my friend. Oh. And we have, oh, Jolanda, or Yolanda from the Netherlands. Welcome. Hello. And hey. we also have, um, we have New Zealand in the house as well. Is that Nikki? Nikki, yes. How you doing, Nikki? 
we've got, you know, we've got uh, regulars um, over here from Ireland, the UK, New yep. Zealand. We have Jill Humphreys in the house and she's in the UK. She says Yay. good evening. Hello, hello. Woo, that sounded important. Of course, I just said, of course, you didn't put your phone on silent, Terry. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> rookie, rookie. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Don't even say it. Okay. I'm and just we thinking. have Australia in the house. Jesse says it should be good morning, right, Jesse? Oh, yeah, I bet. Uh, Teresa Cherry says, Lindy is amazing. Been following her for a long time. Um, thank you so much. Y'all are, y'all are awesome. Debbie Rain says, hi, Lindy. Hey, Debbie. Susan, I'm not going to even torture your last name, but she says, toss the taters. <laughs> Can you, Canelty? I, I'm not going to even try. Guerrero? I'm not Guerrero? Guerrero, is that it? <laughs> I'm like, there's, there's a lot of vowels in there. I'm not sure where they go. <laughs> Susan is a regular. I should know. Oh, Jody, thank you. Canada, yes, Summer's here from Canada. All right, Mary Casey that. says she's following you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that more than you can know. Missouri's in the house. Hey, Connie. I'm just gonna hit this with a little heat. I'm gonna paint on it now. So I just thought I would seal it with that gel medium, matte medium. Oh, Rose says Mexico, saludos. Saludos, <laughs> hola. <laughs> and, and then that's about it. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's all we got, sorry. <laughs> When I look down here, I can see, Terry, I can see the whole wide shot. Terry, you know, I have it <laughs> in my vertical that I usually do. And she's like, we, we're going to need to, we're going to need to do it, you know, horizontal. I'm like, can you tell I didn't make up my bed today? <laughs> That's the first thing she says. She goes, can you tell I didn't make my bed? I don't know. Should they go close the door? <laughs> My husband's gone. Why not? You know, why well, I got to make up the bed? I'm just going to get back in it, right? Okay. Now, what I want to attempt to do here is I want to paint a simple, simple nativity scene Ooh. with this beautiful backdrop. So, I have my... What I'm trying to decide is if it would be better in white or in black or something else. I mean, it's just going to be a silhouette, very simple. So I'm studying this. I if it's just going to be a silhouette, maybe black. Yeah, I, I thought about that, and then I thought, or well, yeah, your browns, the browns. Yes, yeah, pull out mm -hmm. the browns, or even well, I don't think this is the color. I think this is the color I would want to go for. Yeah, so like a deep gray. The so deep, it kind of pulls deep, out. Yes, yeah. that would be beautiful. So, so Lindy, I don't know if you know this, but do you know that I'm a watercolor artist? That's where my background is. No, I did mm -hmm. not. I admire that so much. So every time I see you coming on and doing painting, you know, I, I'm like, you, you know, you, you, they say, you know, you have to continue to exercise your art because you lose it just because I do lettering as well and water coloring oh. and i haven't done it in so long and then when i see folks doing it i'm like gosh i need to pull out everything y yes you do i would love to watch you watercolor it is so much harder to me than acrylic painting um i've been practicing with it a lot more um lately but it's just i can't blend with watercolors like you beautiful watercolor artists do really it's amazing to me yeah up oh, cindy kane says chocolate souffle i yep. changed to that i held up chocolate souffle to this rusty part and i held up the mud pie it's kind of a combination of the two but i'm starting with chocolate souffle to see how it looks and then i might add a little mud pie uh yeah here and there with it and really make it go together okay let's see we're just gonna do ah thanks annette <laughs> i 
And I mean, very, very simple. Anybody can do this. And this beautiful paper is going to give you the perfect backdrop for it. And then we'll go in a totally different direction on the second project. But we're going to use the same paper. So you can see how versatile it is. Hey, right. Dina Ray, what's going on? Hey, sister. How are you doing? Every time I see the pink, you know, her, her, the bubble, uh, it has her picture. I see the yeah. pink. I'm like that. I know that's Dina. <laughs> I don't even Dina. have to see her name. I'm like, I know that's Dina. <laughs> Kimberlyn says, very peaceful paper for that scene. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, thanks, Kimberlyn. I hope so, yeah. Aw, Donna, thank you. So, yeah, I, you know how um, Justin does the Friday nights where he, he lets people come on to their cha his channel and say hello? Yeah. Well, I went on his. I said I, I would take the opportunity to let him host me for a, a quick second because I'm always hosting him. And well, my my Choi Choi had to come over here because he heard Justin and Kate had to come peeking his head over here. So Donna is saying that she seen my sweet Choi Choi last night. But yeah, he was all over here looking at Justin because he he recognizes voices, obviously. But yeah, so he <laughs> he I took have over. To go back and see that. He took over his whole first. You all you see is his a little eye, the corner of his eye, and then the <laughs> next thing is like the whole face. <laughs> Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Aw, Teresa Justin. says, you are both so talented. I love to watch you both. Thank you so much, Teresa. That is so sweet. I do too, Catherine. Catherine Kelly says, love seeing you paint, Lindy. Oh, it's my favorite thing to do. It really is. My <laughs> Dina says, oh, I love my pink. I love your pink too. I can recognize I you. <laughs> I'm a pink and teal girl, too. I'm all down for the girly girly, you know, so I get it. Okay, I'm adding in just a little mud pie here and there. Um, because I know these colors, these uh, paints, the magical chalk paints, do really work well together. And I don't have to worry about it making some funky looking color. I'm going to hold it up here in just a second. Adding just a little bit of... Um, that color in because it really does match these it does it looks parts. awesome so a little bit up here hi cindy you're not late thank you for joining us look at that i mean that's just an awesome match right there oh thank you thank you okay now we're gonna now we're gonna kind of do the harder part of the baby jesus right here and we're going to keep it very, very simple. Like I said, we just want it to be, you know, everybody can tell when it's an nativity. You know, you know, it's an nativity. You don't have to put a lot of big details in it. Okay, so we're just going to do that. I don't, I don't know if when you started painting, but I think that's the hardest thing when um, what you... It, don't be intimidated by all the details your eye will know what is you know what it's what you're trying to um what you're trying to express so sometimes i think people get afraid and don't want to try because they get hung up on all the details yeah you know it's funny you bring that up i remember and it was after i had started um painting i'm self-taught so i don't know what i'm doing you know i'm just getting by and um I read something from an artist one time that said, um, technically, it, you really don't want it to be exact because your brain will fill in. You it know, does. All the, you know, just like you just said. And it's mm -hmm. amazing how that's the truth. It does. Um, it, it's supposed to be that way. We're supposed to suggest, you know, with our art and let, people's minds that's why you know i mean art is subjective it is it is it, you know oh. melinda says that is her that is me about painting i'm thinking she means about the getting too detailed yeah, yeah. but Don't lindy that's exactly the word though it it's suggestive so your eyes 
Think about it this way. You know how sometimes when you write an email to someone and you read that email two, three, four times over and you're like, yep, that's good to go. And then when somebody reads it, they catch, might have, you know, a bunch of um, little spelling grammar issues. But you're like, wait a minute, I read that four or five times because you you see you know already what is trying to be said right so you think that it's it's already good to go it's the same thing with art so if you your eyes will actually tell the story for you absolutely um if if a child draws a square a triangle little squares a rectangle you know it's a house exactly you know, you you know it's a house. So yep. All you need to do is uh, suggest with your paint. You don't need to get hung up on all the details. You really don't. Okay, now I'm going to get out my 24 karat liquid. Oh, thank you, Kimberlyn. I appreciate that. Kim is um, so sweet. She just said she started following me. That she, the, uh, awesome. Very awesome. <laughs> Um, Carol Ann says, I love to watch Lindy paint. It's very whimsical, and that's what I like. Oh, that makes me happy. That really makes me happy. (laughs) Jody. (laughs) She said, hmm, you've been reading my emails. Happens to me all the time. (laughs) She is too funny. Oh, the girl. (laughs) Oh, mercy. I'm famous for that. The you and your... Oh, oh yeah, see, yeah. and I already know exactly. Yep, I love that. Lindy. It's just you know, it's just you know, you put a little uh, gold halo over baby Jesus's head, and, and I mean, it's that simple. Y'all can do that. And then I thought, what I would do is take a little. I don't know why that's trying to come out of the bottle. Stop it. <laughs> my, my gold got a mind of its own there okay i'm going to take a little white sand and i'm just going to put it on some of these snowflakes Ooh. and see how that looks i thought about doing diamond dust but that's a little too elegant for this rustic i think i agree so, yeah i want to just give it a hint of shimmer thank you cindy thank you thanks trish <laughs> Margaret Bayern says, my squares and triangles do not look like houses. Oh, well. (laughs) Oh, I bet they do. I bet they do. (laughs) But everybody is saying that this is gorgeous. Carol Ann says, perfect. Stephanie says, beautiful. Elizabeth, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Y'all are so kind, so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, now let me just show you. That's one. Do you see that? How that pops out now? Yeah. That one snowflake. Gorgeous. With the shimmer. So just I thought if I could put just a little bit on here and there, and then I'm going to show you what else I want to do with this paper and some other <laughs> queen. Debbie. Oh. Debbie says, I feel like if I did that, everyone would look like a paint blob. <laughs> It wouldn't. Really, it wouldn't. Look, go on. I'm telling you, when you have something that you're, you know, like all I did was go on. Um, and I've, I've painted a ton of nativity scenes. I used to do them every Christmas, you know, and sell them in my booth. But I wanted this to be a silhouette. I wanted this to be a little different. So I just Googled uh, nativity silhouette and find one that, you know, feels right to you, that you like. And look just at that up, you know yeah. just mm-hmm. it's just that you know you just my roof is wonky i don't care it was probably the end's roof might have been wonky too we don't know right mm-hmm. <laughs> so just mm-hmm. you gotta let go of that perfection <laughs> you guys are awesome jesus can be fluffy jody says <laughs> being fluffy right you guys <laughs> <laughs> i love hanging out with y'all oh okay, they're so amazing a few snowflakes that yes. just kind of shimmer 
And now, you know, this is the part where I was going to ask y'all. This is very simple. So I thought about something like this as a bow at the bottom. I don't know if that's, I can't tell if that's going to be too, I don't know that that really goes with this. If that, I, I think it might be a little too, too white. It is. Mm -hmm. So I also got this one out. There we and go. I didn't know if just something, I just don't want to do anything to take away. You know, right. I, gotcha. I, I got gotcha. you. Um, uh, Patty says maybe burlap. See, I thought about burlap too. I've got burlap. And then I put this next to it and it just looked so simple. Uh, Pamela, is that Fugua? Do you have Raffia? I do. I do. Actually, hold please, Terry. Can I do that? <laughs> of course you, you can do whatever you like. This is what happens when I... People start throwing out these great ideas, and I think, oh, I've got to see it. And then the wheels start turning, right? The wheels start turning, and I, you know, I'm very visual, so I have to kind of see it. Rocky has a guy, had not, this had not crossed my mind. Uh, burlap could work. I do like that, says Stephanie. Um, the, the ribbon? Jody says, or canvas strip. Connie says, I don't think it needs a bow. I love the simplicity of it. Connie, I'm kind of with you there. Because, uh, I mean, yeah. I don't want to overdo it. So, let me move on to the second. We're getting the twofer. Um, Cindy, I thought about greenery. In fact, I had some on the table. And then I thought, well, we've got this beautiful blue background that I don't want to take away from. I may end up doing something very small, maybe in a corner. We'll see. Yes, we may, and we are have you're getting some suggestions for greenery or holly and berries. Um, although that would be pretty, I just think yeah, it it's, it's so pr beautiful. The simplicity is so so pretty. And I think you know if we go back to the um, the nativity, it's it was very simple. Yeah, you it, know, was. it really was very, very true, simple. very true. Okay, now this you can get at Decoupage Queen. Yes. I did. Yes. Let me show you. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, these are MDF blanks for ornaments, plaques. This one just spoke to me and I had to have it. Um, you can get it on their site. It's two pieces. And this is going to go together like this. So what I want to do first is I want, how am I doing on time? Oh, yeah, 30 minutes. I'm going to put a little primer down on this first. I had all kinds of ideas for this. All kinds. <laughs> I think this, this whole piece could be used so many ways. It would make such a great Christmas gift. I'm going to give you some ideas about that. Um, that was probably way too much, but we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Tend to go overboard anyway. This is the undercover primer in coconut uh, that I use all the time. It's from Paint Pixie. Now, this right. is on your link tree, yes? It is, yes. My okay. Paint Pixie shop is on my link tree. Thank you, Terry. You're that. welcome. Let me grab just, that for you all. These are everyday go-tos for me. The brushes, the paints, and so. There you go. Thank you. Of course. All right. So, um, if my printer had cooperated today, I had to switch gears on this and really get get to thinking about what to do when my printer wouldn't do right. It worked, but it was printing it's funny. It was too dark, and uh, I don't know what's up with that, and I didn't have time to mess with it. So I just said, wait a minute, we're going to switch gears, but I'm still going to give you all that idea in case you want to do it um, with these because it's the first thing I thought of when I was looking at this um, frame. But, you know, I mean, you could, there's all kinds of things you can do with this piece. And so, thought, um, Melinda, I just put in 
uh, Lindy's link tree for you. So you can, she says she, every time she goes looking for your link tree, she can't find it. But it's also on her page and it, you can, it, you'll see the tree there. So if you click on that, but that's what that link is for. And then Lou Montoya wants to know what primer do you use? I use um, this Undercover Primer in Coconut by Pink Pixie. I also have it in coffee for darker projects. Tommy says I'm echoing. Yeah, here. I have you on two devices and you're not echoing to me. So, Tony, you might have to exit out and come back in. You know, that fun FB stuff. Yeah, and you don't want to hear me in, in echo, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fun. <laughs> no good. I'm being a little particular around these edges because I like the the MDF, you know, the burnt edge. I like that. So I didn't want to get a lot of white on it, if any. And this is just going to make our um, paper pop. Putting this white underneath it. If you want to use just a white paint, you can just use a white paint. Um, I just went for this primer because I know, I know it and it works well, so. Okay. The dogs are barking, so I'm muting myself. Okay. I can't believe mine haven't yet. You know how that goes around here. Okay, now while this dries, we're going to work on this. And I want to paint this first in a... Um, because what I'd like to do is crackle it. I like Ooh. to crackle it. Yeah. So I'm thinking um, I want a dark color underneath. Thank you, Donna Sue. What color? I want to do black. You know what? I may just do um, Yeah. I'm going to do black. Just plain old black. Donna Davis I'm says, fine. I'm so glad, so glad I caught you live. I'm so glad you did too, Donna. I didn't know about anybody would be here on this Saturday afternoon, but I sure was hoping. We have over a hundred friends with us. Hi, Christina. How are you? Oh, over a hundred. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to. Very, I'm going to be a little particular. Like I said, I don't want to get it all over the sides. Um, but I just want a dark color to peek through when I crackle. I want it to look aged. Christina says, I'm good, sweet friend. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad. I'm so glad it's cold here today. The cold came back, but it's sunny, so that's nice. So I have been willing the cold weather. I keep telling myself if I put a sweater on and some long sleeves, mm. you know, the, the cool weather mm. will come. But, mm. you know, my window's wide open mm. and the fans go in. I'm like, mm. oh, my goodness. Oh, tell me again where you are, Terry. I know where I, you are. I'm in uh, Northern California. Yeah. Okay. And it's, yeah. so you want that cold weather? Just a little cooler. <laughs> <laughs> What's the temperature like there today? It, we're still in the seventies. I mean, you know, still enough for, I could walk around in shorts and, you know, a t-shirt still. It's, and I was saying yesterday when I was live that I, I'm not yet in the full Christmas spirit as far as like the decorations and everything. And I think that has a lot to do with it. You know, still the weather the way it is, and then the time change, it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I, I <laughs> Jody it. says, shush, Terry. <laughs> Sorry, Jody. <laughs> Jody's up there where, kind of close to where you are. She's in Washington. <laughs> she does. So you, you don't um, even feel it here. Yeah. Uh, Rennie says, what state are you from, Lindy? I am in North Carolina. North Carolina, I love North Carolina. I am, I was born in Mobile, Alabama and raised here in Memphis, Tennessee. Well, I'm just outside of Memphis in a suburb, but yeah. Tennessee, West Tennessee girl. 
I'm on the ugly end of the state. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Middle Tennessee and East Tennessee. Do you have, is most of your family in that area though, Lindy? Yes, yes. Yeah. That's, um, we had, we, um, my parents had moved to Mobile um, after they married. My aunt and uncle were down there. My dad really loved visiting down there, just like me. You know, you're closer to the Gulf and everything. It's just lovely. Yeah. Um, and so they were going to live down there. And he, by the time I was three, they were ready to come back and be around the rest of the, you know, all my rest of my family was here. Yeah, got, right. Then we came back here and I've been here ever since. <laughs> um, Pamela Miller is asking name of primer again, please. It is called, wait, let me show you the bottle again. It is Undercover Primer in Coconut. It's by Paint Pixie. Uh, you'll find it on, in my Paint Pixie shop. Um, and it, it's, I love it. I love you know, I ever since I started using the magical chalk paints, their paints are a combination of chalk and acrylic, and there's something magic about that. And I can't quite, I, I just love it. I can, I never was good at mixing my own colors, and um, I can mix any color I want with <laughs> pixie paint. So I'm, I love it. Now this Josie says hello, my sweet Lindy. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> that is our that is our queen pixie right there. That's me. Mm -hmm. so. Um, Cindy, she Lindy got the frame from Decoupage Queen. It's handcrafted holiday traditions MDF. I will put the link in for you right that now. Wonderful. I love this piece. I have been dying to uh, you know put this together. So I hope y'all love it too. Y'all need to get one. Get some of that pretty Christmas paper. I got, Terry, I also got, um, I'll have to show it at the end, the pack of scrapbook paper, winter pack of scrapbook paper. Yes. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I can't find double-sided scrapbook paper anywhere anymore here. Really? So, really. And they're all single-sided. <laughs> which is fine if you're going to decoupage with it or you're only going to see one side. But if you want to, uh, you know, make your own journal, junk journal or whatever, you need double-sided. Yes. And so these are gorgeous. I absolutely, excuse me, absolutely love them. So I'm going to have to show you. And there are like two pages in there that, that are deer. And y'all know I love to decorate around the house with deer because I'm a husband, especially on the porch. We've got a lot of deer on the porch. And, uh, oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. Now, hold that up. Look how pretty that frame is. Oh, I love it. All right. Now, while we're, we're doing, you know, we're rotating while that dries, I'm going to go on and decoupage. Uh, Jody, no, you can't print um, images from DQ. We uh, we have rice papers that we we don't have um, printable images. No. Good question. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then Stephanie says, "I've never heard of Decoupage Queen until this live." Wow. Okay, Stephanie, you need you need to go check them out because. Oh my goodness, y'all, the papers and, and all the other things y'all have too, Terry. Yes, yeah, so just uh, Decoupage Queen has, oh my goodness, uh, endless amount of rice papers. We have scrapbook papers. We have journaling kits, vellum, stencils. I mean, <laughs> you name it, they yep. got it. You name yep. it, we got it. Yeah, check it out. Now, so, on this, I don't want to, you know, I don't need. Uh, um, that pretty fuzzy edge like I do with the rice paper usually because the edges aren't going to show. This is going to be like a, a window. So I'm just Oh, awesome, Allison. Thank you. She says, I liked 
in following Decoupage Queen and shared to the craft group. So thank you so much. Oh, yeah. We appreciate that very, very much. We love to see everyone's creations and love on their photos and everything. Yeah, we, it, it, we love it. We love absolutely love it. I just drool over all the the creative projects. Um, Debbie, my friend Debbie Rigg was on there with you. A yes. A couple of weeks ago, is that right? Uh, two weeks ago, yes. Mm -hmm. That project. I know. Oh, goodness, it was so gorgeous. She just really mm -hmm. takes it up a level always. She really does. And she mm -hmm. has got an eye for color. And, yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Yeah, she definitely does. Okay, so we're just going to put some of this matte medium back down. Use that same brush. Aw, thanks, Helen. She says the papers are top quality. Love your papers. Yeah, they our, are. Ugh. Yeah. Our, we, um, we, all of our uh, papers come from uh, Italy, and they are a very, very amazing quality. Yeah. They sure are. Yes, High Patty, quality. you missed Debbie Riggs. She was on at the beginning of the month. <laughs> Go back and catch it. Uh, yesterday, Patty was on my channel, and someone had asked, "Oh, who's on Creative Hour tomorrow?" And I said, "I got Lindy Taterbuggin and Patty yep, Pixies Designs by PK." She goes, "I'll be there. I oh, love Lindy. So I'll be there." <laughs> thank you, thank you. That is so sweet. I'm just gonna trim off this little bit of excess right here. Again, you know, these aren't gonna show, but I don't want any overhang past the frame. So we're going to see how, okay. Oh, I love that. Uh, Josie says, Italy is just full of pixies making magical papers and brushes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is now it's going to end up, but look how that backdrop. That, that is gorgeous. Looks with that. Uh, oh, love it. That Sitting so at the window, having a cup of hot coffee. Looking um, out at the beautiful sky and snow. Yep. Right. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Now I'm going to use uh, this. I'm going to use some crackle medium. Okay, Carol. Enjoy your grandson and daughter. Thank you for being here. Thank you, She's, Carol. She says, I got to go. Catch the rest later. My daughter and grandson are here. That all family always is the priority. It's, yes. it's got to be the priority. Okay. So, so everybody's we, saying that they love it and that it's beautiful, oh, gorgeous. Okay. Now. Um, created love, created with love by Junebug says, I'm guessing you have a decoupage rep with you today. Love their designs and papers. <laughs> yes, Terry Lightsey. Y'all need to go follow her page too. Y'all have heard me talk about Terry a lot. <laughs> I think Terry is so awesome. And she is the one, you know, I watch Terry and so I caught her book nook. <laughs> And the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And the rest is history. <laughs> so I was on, not long after she did her book note with Robin Song, her friend, uh, they did it live together and did two different ones. Um, I was on with Terry for Decoupage Queen. And so we were talking beforehand and I said, so tell me about this book note. It, that was incredible. It was so beautiful and blah, blah, blah. I said, but I don't think I have the patience to do it. Terry said, do you like working puzzles? I said, oh, I'm obsessive about working puzzles. I, I have to not get them out because I can't stop. So I have to watch myself. She said, if you love puzzles, you will love doing this. She said, it's going to overwhelm you when you first open it up. But don't worry. Once you get into it. It, it, you're going to just love it. And I'm on my, what, Terry, sixth one? Sixth one now, I think. Goodness. <laughs> Stephanie Romero. Monster. So Stephanie Romero just put it together. She goes, wait, Lindy, is this the Terry who got you into the book nook? It's yeah. nice to meet you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear me talk about Terry all the time. That's Terry. <laughs> oh, me. I told I when she messaged me I was like 
okay, you like, you're going to love this. I said, but don't, it's going to be intimidating. Just don't, don't let it, you know, don't let it stop you over that first couple of, you know, steps. And now, yeah, look at her now. I mean, I'm telling you, if I, if I had not talked to you and you had told me, not told me that those were the perfect words to say to me, because I kept that in my head. Um, y'all could, um, Y'all could probably see it live. Like I was panicking. Like, what? I just started poking out pieces. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and uh, but I kept hearing Terry's voice in my head. Stick with it. It's all gonna come together. And it did. It really did. So. Um, Nikki Hunter. I've only done two book nooks. So Lindy's got me beat. Like <laughs> nobody's business now. She is the pro now. I'm just obsessed with them. Now, I, you know, I was contacted by Mini City, which is very helpful when they send, but they always send one uh, extra kit that I can give to somebody, one of my viewers, uh, which I think is awesome. But yeah, I, I had to save up my own pennies for that first one. Um, but I love it so much. I would still be saving pennies. I would be... Too. <laughs> yeah, when I Linda told me that, that they had contacted her, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have ever thought they found a, my YouTube video of all things? And um, so I'm just tickled to death about that because I am having a ball. It is a challenge for me now, Nikki. I have to catch up to Lindy now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Terry told me that very first time I talked to her, she said, uh, I said, well, let me ask you this. I said, would you ever do another one? She said, oh, I want one in every room of the house. Now I want them all. And I was like, okay, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yep. Well, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> There's three right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the batteries are dead on my first one. That's not how much I've used it, so. Okay, now I'm putting, uh, this is called Starling. It's a liquid pixie dust, metallic, and um, I'm just oh, going to Oh, you guys can just, it. let me take this off so you guys can see that. Look at that. And we're going to see if we get a good crackle. Y'all, even if I didn't get a good crackle, that looks pretty. <laughs> That's pretty gorgeous right there, right? And I think um, the silver with that blue of the paper and the Oh, yes. I just think, oh, my goodness. Now, you could take, you could t use, look at this as four frames if you wanted to and put some family Christmas pictures in each one. Oh, that would now, be cute. Yeah. What I would do is scan them and print them on cardstock. You know, you don't want to cut up precious photos, um, but scan them and print them out. And um, you can put them in each one. Or I have this picture. I should have brought it in here. I've got a big one. My, uh, my one of my very best friends, Rhea. By the way, Terry, the very first time I met you, you know, on here, I thought, oh my goodness, you look just like my bestie. Oh really? Yes. And I think that I just loved you instantly. Aww. <laughs> and then you, we started talking. I thought, oh yeah, I love her so much. <laughs> um, but she, for my 50th birthday gift, she had taken the, my favorite picture of me and my dad um, that was made at Christmas in 1969 where I'm sitting in front of the Christmas tree and um, dad is squatted down beside me and we're just looking at each other. Oh, in front of how Christmas precious. Tree. And she had it blown up and printed on canvas. Um and so I get it out every Christmas. Oh, I, I bawled like a baby. Oh. And um, so something like that where that you could cut out and then, you know, put in here. And it looks like you're looking through a window to yes, see that. Yes, that's precious. I think that would be awesome. Um, Cindy Carroll would like to know, what did you use for the crackle medium? Oh, I just used um, the folk art from Hobby Lobby. 
it usually works pretty good. Um, I'm not seeing a lot. I usually see more crackles in this, but it'll probably operator error. If not. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm As it dries, you'll probably get, yeah. yeah. Uh, Connie would like to know if you have a link for the book nooks. Are they in your Amazon store, Lindy? They are. They're okay. in my Amazon store under Lindy's Favorites, so they'll be easiest for you to find. And I've even added the one I'm currently working on. It's a library. I was telling Terry there's even a crystal globe in that kit that is gorgeous. Uh, there's a telescope. There's a typewriter. Uh, dinosaur fossils. It's a really cool library. So I just put in the link. Oh, Cindy, actually. Okay. <laughs> that we just put in a couple of links for you um, for Lindy's link tree. And if you click on her Amazon store, um, that's where you'll find her uh, book nooks. And then actually, if you're on Taterbug and Cindy actually put uh, the link to um, her Amazon store directly to it. So thank you. Cindy's my sweet admin, who she is quick with the links. She helps me out a lot with the links. Yeah, Dina, I see that. I had not, I guess I had not tried to crackle with um, metallics. Have you? I'm surprised I haven't actually, but it's not crackling a whole lot. But like I said, um, even if it didn't crackle a whole lot, um, I really love that. Can you see a little bitty bit of crackling? Uh, Rennie is asking, is that a silver metallic paint or a silver pigment? It's a silver metallic paint. It's another, it's called liquid pixie dust. There are, um, Josie, I think there are 11 liquid pixie dust and 30 um, magical chalk paint colors. But you can make any color you need in the world with those. So let's see. Uh, Cindy's saying you did on one of your leaves. You crackled. I leaf? did, and it worked. That's right. But did I put the? But did I put the metallic on the bottom? Do you remember, Cindy? Did I put the metallic on the bottom or the top? But look how. I don't even care. Look at that. No, and they're saying it's beautiful, so pretty. You know. I love that. Could even hand letter something but y'all i also thought about i have these pretty uh transfers from taper Lodgy that i thought about let me just cut one or two out and hold it up here and see what y'all think i thought about just decorating each little piece with one of these <laughs> josie said there's only 10 because enchanted forest is sold out Oh, okay. So I was right, but then I didn't know that was so bad. <laughs> <Okay>. gotcha. <laughs> and then Cindy Carroll said, no, I don't think so, to the question you asked her about um, the metallic. Oh, okay. I could, she can remember better than me. I know. So I'm thinking. And Jill Humphrey said, um, metallic on top of crackle t does not typically crack. So I guess it's I'll not, it's not you. Link. It's not you. It's <laughs> not me. <laughs> so let me just show you what, what, in case you can't see. Now, it won't be white, obviously. These are transfers. But what if I just put a couple of these cute little Oh, I think transfers. that would be cute. Let's give it a try. We've still got a few minutes. Let's give it a try. Yeah. And you know I wouldn't boot you anyways. You wouldn't boot me, Terry? Of course Thank not. <laughs> Never, never, ever. Oh, everybody's saying, yes, cute. Okay. That would be cute. Yay, that would be perfect. <laughs> We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I don't know if you do this, Lindy, but I I constantly, when I'm live, I constantly ask for their opinions. Absolutely. Always. And I love it. I oh, I love it. But what happens is because there's a few second lag, I'll start moving things around, and then they'll tell me which one, like one or two, and I go, well, which one was one and which one was two? Gosh, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> I know. I Usually what I do is I'll plan out a project to a certain point, and then I know that they're going to take it from about midway to three-quarters of the way and take it yes. over the top, and yes. I just let them do it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Exactly. So I love that. 
Uh, Gwen Johnson says, do you have more than one tree? I wish I did, but I don't. I have this. Let me show you, Gwen. I have this tree that I thought, you know, it was very snowy looking and might fit with uh, this theme. Can y'all see that? Ooh, yes. I thought that was a pretty What are one. those trees called? Um, oh, man. What are they called? There's those trees. Someone's going to know. The big full trees. Like, they always, when I see those, they always look like they tell a story to me. I don't know why. It just. Like a spruce? Is no, that what never. it, is that? Um, Donna Davis says, put a deer down by the tree. Oh, Carol Ann says, you can paint a tree. I could paint a tree. You, you don't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I can always put more than one. Are they just oak trees, Michelle? There you go, the tree of life. You know oh, those, yes, yes, that's what I'm, yes. Yep, Debbie, Cindy, exactly. I don't know, they just, they they just, well, every time I see them, it just looks like there's like a, like a story. I can see, you know, people sitting under the tree just telling stories or reading a good book. I don't know, I just see that with those big trees like that. Yeah. Um, are you, there was the, the big banyan tree in Maui. Um, we, we were fortunate enough to go to Maui in 87, and um, I think it, it was saved, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, in the fire. Oh, yes. Um, but, oh, it, it you know, it came up and went all out. It goes, it just, yes. oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I must have missed it, but I think they're asking what your heat gun is, and I think you have just the little ranger uh, I one, do. right? Yeah. Yeah, just the little ranger. It's... Mm -hmm. It's been through it. <laughs> it's called heat it, and I love it. It doesn't I, sound like it does. It's it's very quiet. It's very quiet, and so it's nice if you're you know going live, and you don't want to. I've got well, I've still got my other one, my first one, but Mister T uses that in the shipping department. So, um, it's the shipping department is just our extra bedroom. <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> Okay, let me see how these look before I Speaking put Speaking of the shipping department, if you all are wondering, so um, we I do have the website here if you want to go on and check it out. Has Mr. T put anything new in there lately? He hasn't. Uh, he has not. But let me tell you, in our other, our secondary store that um, my friend Lisa Ahmad and I have started the Art Wellness Collaborative, and we have an Art Wellness Marketplace. And we just came out with two new kits. Ooh. Um, I have a Christmas ephemera kit. They're flying out the door, and there's only a certain amount. So if that sounds interesting, Joe, you, you'll get a lot of it. If there's a list of all the things that um, are in it. And it comes, you know, in a pretty little package and lots of goodies to work with for Christmas on small projects. Um. <clears throat> And a, she did this. I've got, it's not a full kit that I have, but she sent me some of the pieces. And I think there's only a handful of these in our shop, but it's a very meowy Christmas. And they're all the IOD um, new Christmas kitty cat stamps on wood. So that's available in our shop too. Um, I'm hoping that Mr. T is going to come out with very soon with the, um, something kind of for the Christmas season, but y'all, we have cookbook and iPads. It's a cookbook, cookbook slash iPad stand um, that I, I took old handwritten family recipes and I printed them out on rice paper. And then I decoupaged them onto that cookbook stand. Can you imagine what a great Christmas gift that would be for somebody? That would be some... so special. Oh my yeah. goodness. And then we have that cake stand. Um, the reason I even have that in the shop is because of my first time I was on here with you. You know, I Yes, I remember that. Yes. So I he, remember that. 
he is even he's hand turning the spindles and everything for those so wow they're still in the shop that would make a really nice christmas gift too and these uh these are the uh rub on transfers from taper lodgy if y'all were wondering where where i got them they work really well so now cindy put in the art wellness collaborative.com right. so those kits is that where you would find them you would there? find the uh-huh you'd find the ephemera kits and the kitty cat the meowing christmas kit there and then on shop tater bug and you'll find oh, okay okay so i did wood. put the shop tater bug and link in there for you guys oh see how cute that is i love that i think those look adorable in there oh, well now i think so i've got the should i put one in this last one do you think or should i wait a minute wait a minute let's see There are some with just. Everybody is saying that it's so pretty, Lindy. Oh, That's I just like the it. perfect touch. So pretty. They look oh, adorable. Wonderful. And you could still, these are so subtle. You could still add, um, you know, a family picture in each one. If you oh, yeah, to. definitely. Um, oh, yeah, they do. Pamela says they kind of look 3D. They can, they really do, don't they? When I held it up, that's what I was thinking. Wow, they kind of look 3D. Okay, now let me see. This is, I don't know that that's, these are all kind of in the same family, so I kind of want to keep to that. This little bunny rabbit's really cute. Can y'all see that? Oh, yes. That might be pretty to put in. So Gwen says, I leave the last one empty and maybe a winter animal next to one of the trees. Okay. The problem is probably proportion. It's not going to look right, right? That's yeah. the word I was. I was trying to say perspective, and I knew that was wrong. <laughs> okay, we could letter in it. Uh, yeah, I was, Connie said lettering. Okay, what would you? What kind of let? What would you want? Think blah, blah, words. What would you put as far as lettering goes in that last? Um square paint a wee tiny star in the empty one. Oh, everybody oh wow look at that let it snow let it snow oh, that's it what not the sea okay let's do that oh let's Catherine do Kelly says winter wonderland I do like that you know too. what's gonna happen now right peace on <laughs> earth Noel uh -huh. <laughs> oh my word that would baby been... it's cold outside <laughs> oh, that's cute. oh now oh. we have two so we have two peace on earth it's a wonderful life oh you guys are you, you guys are just gonna make this really difficult for her aren't you yes oh cindy kane says leave it open for whomever purchases it Oh, no, and then you can personalize it. Can personalize it. There you go, Cindy. Yep. All right. I love it. Okay, now we've had time to think. Does this need something else, or do we leave it like this? <laughs> There's still silent night. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, Winter sweet. wonderland. Silent Those night is pretty. Good. Yep. Both projects are beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Thank Sarah you. says smart, Cindy, to leave <laughs> it. Pretty... Yep, leave it. Okay. I'm going to leave it. For... And you know what? Whoever buys it, I could even, you know, do like the Tates, you know, their last name. Oh, that you know? would be a great idea. And really personalize it. Yeah, see, now leave it plain. Yeah, see? By... That would be perfect. Leave them both. Cute, beautiful projects, beautiful. Okay, thank well. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. So, we st we think we need a little something over here. Or are we going to leave it as is? Uh, the manger scene needs a star, but she yeah. it does have one up there. You see it right here. I'm pointing to it. Do you see it right here? <laughs> oh my word, Lindy, I'm losing it. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's it. 
and it's in a metallic, so you can kind of see it twinkling up there. Yeah, um, absolutely. Okay, yeah, you guys can laugh at me. It's okay. I could take it because that, that deserved <laughs> to be laughed at. <laughs> I'm like, can you guys see it? And I'm pointing at it. This was several, several years ago, but I had a big map in my that I had, I had just bought for my other studio. I had ugly dolls, and I was going to put a pin in every location that bought an ugly doll so I could see where they were going because oh, yeah. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't live or anything like that. And so I had this, it, it was sitting framed in the den before my husband hung it. Well, Chris was sitting on the floor looking, you know, kind of looking at the map and everything. And he reached up and went, and I, <laughs> we both busted out laughing. <laughs> not an ipad <laughs> <laughs> just swipe it well when she did it i i even moved my mouse because my mouse has a little hand you know the pointer is a yeah. hand and i put my pointer on the star and i was like it's right here guys it's right here <laughs> i don't i don't know it's you it's know right i'm just a little bit off sometimes but off let me while we i while i'm on here with you guys let me do this so look at our oh, yeah. wheel all nice and full so thank you everybody for being here and doing all the things so let me shuffle it up and good luck oh, i always think this is so much fun katherine kelly Catherine, congratulations. Congratulations, awesome. Catherine Kelly. So, Catherine, if you can please email me at terry, T E R I, at decoupagequeen.com uh, and send me your address, and then I will send you a goodie bag full of decoupage queen rice papers. You're going to love it, Catherine. But. Oh, real quick, let me show oh, you. Oh, yes. Here. Let ah. me. To get this off for you, and then I'll give you back the screen. This won't take me a minute, but this same paper that I got in rice paper is in this uh, scrapbook paper kit that I got from from Decoupage Queen. I have got to make a cute winter junk journal out of these. Look how beautiful these papers are, and y'all, this is high quality paper. It really is. You can hear it, you know. This isn't flimsy scrapbook paper. Look at these. I don't know if you know this or not, Lindy, but that card, those cardinals are both hand painted by Teresa Renee. So th oh, that's really? our owner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, she hand painted the cardinals. Well, I can appreciate that because I have painted a bunch of cardinals and these are beautiful. These, that's amazing. I have, well, I've watercolored a bunch of birds and those are not easy birds are not easy to do no they're not i have in our online shop they're um woodblock prints they're about this big i was going to get that one but they're i've got a set of birds there's a blue bird and a goldfinch and a chickadee and a cardinal yeah they're all on hymnal paper and i painted those a long time ago and we have woodblock prints of them so they're wow. fun to me too these tags are beautiful and then the other side i don't know if you noticed but you could use the other side as belly bands yes yes i love that absolutely love that so you cut them out and yeah just use the bands mm -hmm. here's my problem though terry it's a, well we, i'm already to go already going to tell you that's why we say you need three you need one for each side and then one just to look at because they're too it's pretty to, it's too pretty to cut so i'm like how could i do that when those tags are right there looking so I, pretty <laughs> i'm too practical and so then there's can isn't that pretty and then on the back side Polar Look at bears. them. Aren't they cute? Oh, they're so cute. And this is pretty, too. Look at that mm -hmm. paper. And then flip it over, and you've got this gorgeousness. I just think these are so beautiful. I really, really... And see, now that uh, that deer is just gorgeous. And the little chickadee. So Come for on. those of you who might be just starting out, we actually do make a journal kit as well. And some of these are in um, the journal kit. And the journal kits actually have 
four signatures already ready for you. So I yep. gotta get that. Yeah, there's four. <laughs> wait, 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 what? I'm there's already gonna... four signatures in there for you that are just ready to be folded and insert your, you know, blank pages or whatever. But they're already ready for you. Well, I know what I'm doing after I get off of here. <laughs> I get my order in. I know, Melinda, that's the truth. See, yeah, we can't decide which to use. Yep. Yeah, it's a problem. Some Christmas trees. Love it. But it, anytime I found a project that called for two-sided um, scrapbook paper, um, I couldn't find it in the stores anywhere. And so here's where you get them, y'all, if you're having that same problem. So um, belly bands. Donna wants to know what a belly band yes. is. Yes. probably... Um, describe it better than me, Terry. So mm. belly bands, if you have um, an album, per se, if an album, you can cut these strips and you kind of fold over maybe, let's say, like a half an inch on each end. And that's all you glue down. So you glue down a in half an inch on the top, glue down a half an inch on the bottom. The middle is open so you can slide pictures, um, you know, postcards, anything you want in the middle. So it's called a belly band because the top and the bottom is all that's glued, taped down, if you will, and the middle is open, so a belly band. So see, here he is again. He's going to poke it. Well, I didn't get to see him before it went all to me. <laughs> you know what he did? He disconnected me. Oh, <laughs> So lucky for me, I lucky for me, I have a second device on because I'm used to him, and so he disconnected the other one. <laughs> Terry's anything, so, anything, anything, anything that's funny, nonetheless. Oh my goodness gracious! Love it. So, anyhow, thank you guys for spending some of your Saturday with us. Thank you, Lindy, for coming back again. I love when we spend time together. It's so fun. So I always look forward to it. Thank you, Terry. Me too. So everyone, I know, love this smirk. Exactly, Sue. He does it to me all the time. He pulls plugs on me all the time, Lindy. It's... <laughs> I can't. Sneaky, sneaky. <sighs> yep. So anyhow, we hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Um, I'm not going to see you guys until next Saturday. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We hope you have a wonderful holiday. Yeah. So anyhow, we'll talk to you all soon. <laughs> so Bye. talk to you guys later. Bye.